Penta, 90, 95, 96% of 94. Federer, how much do you think Federer wins from percentage? 93% Federer. 93% not only with aces, because they, they make maybe 10, 15 aces, but because after they manage to have the initiative. Okay? How much the, someone who doesn't serve so well, like for example, who don't make aces, like Nadal, how, ma how much do you think Nadal wins in serves? 92. Huh? 92. He wins 90% with his serve, with no aces, yeah. with no free points. Why? But how you can take the initiative without serving? <laughs> placing the serve, but then after, what you need to do? Move like that. You need to move in a way that you need to be on the line to be able to beat at this physical power that is the return from the opponent, and then start the, the game with the initiative. And once not, he's so good, because once he takes the initiative, and then he, he don't lose it anymore. He just found the guy, found the guy. And there is some players say, no, it's Wasman, Argentinian. Oh, he doesn't make any serves. How much Swarman win in, in percentage of serves? He doesn't arrive to 90%, but he must be close to 80 for sure. Okay, but then he compensates with the returns. And, uh, Djokovic is in 88% of serves win. Okay, but then you go to the returns. And who is the best returner? Schwartz. Uh, Djokovic. I guess it. <laughs> he was probably the best returner. But Nadal is the guy who breaks more serves. 35% of the games during the year he breaks. So one every three almost. 35%. So he breaks the statistics. Even if he plays with Opelka or with Isner, he makes them struggle because he breaks them more serves. So it's, everything is about why Nadal has better statistics than Djokovic that returns better. Because Djokovic returns better. Why why Nadal wins more serves? Djoko, Nadal wins 35% of the games that he returns and Djokovic 30%. Why? It's because he plays back more and he gets it more his his strength. No. He gets more ball back. Of course he returns more back, so he's shorter. But what happened is that because he's so aware of the situation on the second and third shot, she takes away the initiative. And when she ta he takes away the initiative from the server, mm -hmm. and then he don't lose it anymore. So he then plays like if he's serving. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and and, uh, and um, then plays like, a, like Federer, which he improved lately his returning skills, he's on a 25. So Nadal to Federer is 35, 25. Yeah, but then you go to Opelka or Isner that wins 95% and they are maybe in a 5 to 10% breaking serve only. That's why they are always even serving very well. They win so many matches, 7-6 and 7-5, seven, seven, and so because they don't break so many serves. That's the other guy. So for the key at the end is not to take the initiative when you serve that everybody does. The key is to take the initiative when the other one serves. And that's why all these type of words with the controls, with the directions, allows you to take the initiative again. And you can name it, any, any type of control that you want. Cross score, a inside out, two cross score, or one, one to one, one to two, and then one to three. Or two to the middle, one on the side. You have to master and be able to push the opponent. Push the opponent means initiative. Initiative means control of the match and control of the court and control of the inside of the court, okay? So he, for example, that plays so fast, when he, the other one plays shorter, he's gonna be the happiest person in the world because he's already in a position that he's gonna be inside. He's gonna control completely. But when he plays with someone and starts to play deep, and then he's gonna have to play half volleys, he's gonna lose the initiative. And if the other one puts his back, and then he's gonna be lost. Eh? And instead of him, that is more, more um, stronger from the back, Eh? If he don't take the opportunities to step in and control the situation, he will be able also to lose the initiative sometimes. Eh? So that's, that's super important. 
to do that, to play with initiative, you need to play with the ball high. Okay, that's why when he plays high, he plays good. When he plays low, we are on the, even if he plays on the right, he, he's in trouble. So for me, I was not managing to take the ball, to make the, the students play the ball high. Okay, so one way I try to work on with them was, okay, let's do some drilling, okay? Ball. Okay, so you're gonna start to play, eh? but you're gonna play cross court, okay? and then you're gonna play back and back. And, okay, so you're gonna play cross court there, back and in. Good. You play it in the right place. Play the foot in the right place. Okay, you play on the ball good. So now you change. Come on, the other one. Good. Good. So you play here at the top. Good. And you play here at the top. Okay, that was good. Okay? So that, that was that was good from Bob from Bob, okay? So but now let's put it more okay, so. Go and let's play here lower, see, and I play lower, see, and I play lower. So these balls were easier or more difficult by feet. And why more difficult? Because it's lower, lower is more difficult because they are shorter. Why is more difficult? Why this shot is more difficult? Eh? Why this shot is more difficult? Eh? Sorry. Why? Because the, the arc of my ball, my ball is bouncing, and the arc of the ball is bouncing here, and it's going like this, and it's never going up from the net. So it's bouncing and it's coming here, and we're gonna hit it low, and low and more low. Okay, so the only way that he can do his normal shot is that he knows that I play short, okay, and then he sees that and he starts to move, move, I'm oh, sorry, move, move, and he, oh, sorry, and he take it on the right in front. So his leg is going to allow him to hit the ball at that high and that low, you see, but that's an attacking shot anyway. So then he's reading my ball to be able to take it high. Okay. Why do we want to do that? Yeah. Because what we said about the video from from a professor is that we want to play all the balls, the low, the short ones, the low ones, okay, on the right spot. That's why if I, if I hit with the spins, okay, you're gonna play all the shots the same. Okay? So if I play high spin, it's gonna be easy for him. Go, attack the ball. Good. I play flat, attack the ball. Good. Back. And attack the ball. Slide. Good. Come on. One more. Go. One. I play flat. Go. I play slide. Same. So he's hitting the ball from the same spot. Okay. And then they're they hitting the normal shot. Then when you start to work with, with the students, they, they were all the time when we play. Yeah, that works. So let's play, eh? and I play here with you, play with me, okay? Good. Let's see now. Good. And now he knows. Where is he playing now? He's moving to my ball to take it here. Now play when you play normally, how you play normally. Don't move. Stay there. Don't move, okay? Sorry. Don't move there. Low. I know. Okay? So don't move. Just eh, and I hit low again. Okay? So this is what was happening and then he played the match. He's gonna be there. He's gonna be there. And that one is good, but that way from the ball. So and that that's one of the things that because we play so fast, we play
some practices and then we are never going to be able to win an attacking zone. And if we don't get the attacking zone, we can play, we can win matches, but we cannot control the initial. Okay, so, for example, one exercise I like to do, a lot of them, you're going to play one, two, three, four, in all of them you're going to go, you're going to enter. You're going to go, you're going to enter to the ball. All four? Yeah, so you're going in, you go back, okay? Oh, all four, come on. You go in, in, round, go back and be there, and now in there. Round, go back, go back, and in there. Enter, good, go back, around, and in there. Taking the look at the bounce of the ball at the highest point of the back of the bounce. Vamos around and in. Good one, last one, and in. Don't turn, let's just stay and let it go. Because these guys, they were doing so much letting the ball down. One way I like it to do is that you want a guy to do the exercise. Ha, <laughs> It's not used first, okay, and second, his nature with his forehand is to face the ball like this. So how we attack the ball there going this way, okay, because he's, he don't want to back up when he plays back, he don't want to back up. So he's not used like us to go like this, okay, because we want to go with our, with our big shot to control the court. Okay, so this exercise will be very good for him. Okay, so... Okay, so you're gonna go here, you're gonna go this way, you're gonna play there, and then you're gonna go around. When you come here, you're gonna turn the ball. Okay, to be able to be on the right. 